Yes, lads, Joe Bleen here, and the World Cup is here, World Cup mode. Um, you can click on it by getting into this banner here if you haven't already. Welcome to the FIFA World Cup. You can pick any nation you want, and you'll get 11 players from that nation. Um, so, obviously, we had all the pre-hype videos out yesterday, and now it's the real deal. Now, I've gone for England on my free-to-play account, and I was going to do it on this account, but at the same time, I kind of want to have different nations on each account, just so it's a little bit different, so I'm not going towards the same players. And I kind of wish I'd gone for England on this account and not on my free-to-play now. Um, but we need to make a decision, and it's not one I thought about making, which is a bit annoying, because it's like, oh dear. I want to stick with a qualified nation, just because I think the cards look better. Um, let's, um, let's go for somewhere random. Let's go with... Well, it's not going to be random, actually. Um, right, we're going with France. We're going with France. Um, yeah, you don't matter who you pick because they've all got elites and master cards for all of them, so that's fine. Well, I'm just wondering if later in the game, um, as the World Cup goes on, is there going to be special cards based on performances? And then, if so, do you want to have picked a nation that um, is from a better country? But you can switch. You obviously can buy new lineups at any time for 200 FIFA points. Um, or you can just collect them as you go along and is this not going to let us get any further? Right, we'll meet you back when this is loaded. Right, so we're finally in. This is your World Cup hub. It didn't show us all the players because obviously it crashed in the end. But the front starting 11. Let's have a look. Rabiot, Koeman, Gramero, Bakioko, Paye, Kabai, Kozwa, Dinier, Lapor, Zuma, Castile. Don't really want Rabiot, but I guess we put him there. Uh, we'll have Kabai Cam, but mainly it's Komen and Gamero who are going to be our hopefuls to start with. What's Gamero saying? Has he been stripped down much on the England 81 pace? That's not too bad. Um, on the England campaign, that Vardy is very, very helpful. Uh, but obviously, we've got World Cup versus and Storm. Let's have a look if there's anything to Storm. We'll just open a few. Um, but on my free to play one, best thing I could advise, I'm, I'm going to be mainly playing this World Cup as free to play to be honest as well, I'm not really looking to spend much, see how it all goes, um, but um, what's that, one gold, seven World Cup items and exchange points, let's open a couple of these um, and see what this does. Uh, but yeah, on my free play account, literally, the first thing I did was win the World Cup Tier 1, was pretty much able to score from kickoff and then auto play the rest of it. So um, that was very handy and helpful. Um, got up to 75 overall by the time that was done. Bonus point, World Token, a group used World Cup. That's the first time I've seen those. And Fia Lucas, Lucas, sorry, said this joint top stuff. Uh, Lucas Hernandez. Okay, I feel like that wasn't a very good pack. And then there's these exchange points which are used to take stuff back into the real game. So we've got 10 exchange points. Open one or more of these, then we'll look at what the other packs are. Um, but yeah, got to 75 overall by the end of the campaign from the players I'm not so long with winning the World Cup in Tier 1. Uh, and that unlocks Tier 2. World stage points, um, we can't use him. And then Dinier, so we've got two left backs. Great. <laughs> yeah, great, we've got two left backs. That's just that's just what we wanted, two left backs. Uh, but we can play my position. It's not like we've got skill boost to worry about at this moment in time. Uh, what other packs are this? So that's a nation pack. Uh, the FIFA World Cup pack gets any five items of these good Okay, we'll open two of these. We'll see what we could get in here. Um, but yeah, 75 overall after winning the first campaign, which means we can end the tier two, we haven't yet, and then we played the 10 versus attack. It doesn't seem like there's any benefit to winning the matches, so we get Leonardo Gonzalez and Oliver Bozanich, both 70 rated, both not gonna be used, because obviously you can only use the nation that you've got. Uh, but yeah, it doesn't feel like there's any real benefit to winning the World Cup in the campaigns. It feels like you don't, no, sorry. Winning versus attack matches, you can just play as long as you play the ten again. Don't matter if you win or lose, you'll still get the rewards. Obviously, if you win, you then get a chance at a player per win, but the odds seem pretty low on that anyway. Um, well, tokens, what stage, and Jason Rutvalia. Okay. Obviously, we're trying to get up our level as quickly as possible. Um, well, as best as possible. However, that can be done because there's rewards to be got from the level tree. 
Right, back recorded again, it stopped again for some reason. So the skill boost pack for 100 thief points, which just gives you 25 skill boosts. Um, training XP, which gives you 5 to 10, five to 100k XP. 50k FIFA point, uh, 50k coins, sorry. If I did game 50k FIFA points, that'd be ridiculous. And a couple of exchange points. So it seems one exchange point per 100 FIFA points. And there's player back. So this is any two players and any two items. But I believe it can be from any country. So this isn't necessarily going to be your own country. Um, so obviously, other not country nations that you're not using other players, at the moment you can store them. Maybe you want to make a game, a team with those eventually. Or maybe you want to use them in the SBCs. Uh, Nita and Pogaz from Iran. Cool. Uh, we'll open one more of these. Just sort of seeing what's inside all the packs at the moment. Um, but yeah, we're in a we're in a hotel in Hollywood now, um, waiting for all these. I think a lot of them have just touched landed or in the process of landing. So hopefully, go go find them, um, see what's going on. Although I imagine everyone's going to be pretty dead tonight because they've all been travelling. Sam Morsi of Wigan and Enes Unal. Cool. Um, what we got? What we're working with is. Four exchange points. We've got 900 FIFA points. Can, is there anything exciting? So they're the start teams. That's where you can get a hold of lineups. These are where you spend your bonus points you collect. These refresh every eight hours or something. And there's these specials, uh, which I may get, but if I do it, it will like mess up the screen. So I won't get that just yet. Um, but um, yeah, obviously we've got a reward, which, what's this one? Is it the level? But this is your word level. This is what you you're getting up each day. Um, and there's this daily pack tier one. Claim this, and we'll see what's in this daily pack. I think it's just one item, to be honest. So it probably won't be anything too exciting. But um, how are you guys getting on? Have you won the World Cup yet? Yeah, tier one World Cup seemed very very easy. Like you could literally auto play to win it all the way through with your 71 rated team. So if you put off doing that against the 80s that you come up against, don't, don't be. That's appeared here now. So it's just one World Cup item, so probably be some XP or a token. Uh, I keep getting in the other account. I keep getting these World Token accounts, which obviously don't un can't use till the game comes out, well, to World Cup start, should I say. The game's obviously already out because we're playing it. Um, but, um, yeah, I packed two left-backs, didn't I? So I guess we'd take him out. Put uh, Lucas Hernandez in. Now, there's already a version of Digne in the team. So I'll have to take him out. This is what was annoying earlier. Uh, the first player I got, I already had a different version of him. So I couldn't actually change him out because it doesn't let you. Like, if you've already got a version in, they don't show up. Uh, but we'll go like that for now. Actually, that's going to be a bit weird. But um, I'm, I want to put faith in that. We can't. We, could we... Yeah, we'll do that, and we'll do that. Wait, no, we don't want Rabbit. We want, yeah, I reckon we could get a Rabbit at centre back. Uh, didn't use there. Have we actually got any skill boost yet? Or is it just level one? Hell for the cro early crosser. I got enough for that. So we got, we, we've we've got our skill boost. The start players don't have skill boost, so it doesn't matter where you put them. You can't do that. Um, just the one. We will take that. Uh, it's only two without playing the game yet, so we've not done much, but hey, uh, the game seems to be running really slow on this connection. So I'm going to pause it here. Let me know how it's all going on. Just need to play the campaigns, play your 10 dailies. Um, there's the matchups, but obviously we need to wait for Ma the World Cup to start for that, I think. Or at least get a few more days away. Or maybe you can play in the first rounds already. Either way, um, we'll keep you updated when there's tips and stuff to do. But pretty much it just feels like play the campaigns and play your 10 daily verses. And enjoy. Leave a like if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you're new here, come follow me on Twitter at Joe in HD, and I'll see you all later. Peace. I don't know what I did there. Peace.